Welcome to iLecture Online, and here's a continuation on how to solve four variables in formulas, lesson number two in algebra. All right, um, three more examples. We have the perimeter of a rectangle, the volume of a cone, and the volume of a rectangular cube. And so we're going to solve, in the first equation, we want to solve for L. Not a bad idea to circle the variable you're looking for. Here in this equation, we're going to solve for R. And in this equation, in this formula, we're going to solve for W, the width. All right, so let's see how we do that. Again, if the variable you're looking for is on the right side of the equation, I suggest you move it to the left side simply by switching the equation around so we can write 2L plus 2W equals P. Now, the next thing we want to do is if there's more than one term on the left side, we want to move all the terms that do not have the variable in it to the right side. Since we're looking for L and we're not looking for W, we'll move this term to the right side. And so now we get 2L equals P minus 2W. Remember that whenever you cross the equal sign, you change the sign. Okay, the next step is to divide both sides here by the numerical coefficient of the variable we're looking for, which is 2. And divide both sides with the same number. This cancels out. Now you have L equals the perimeter minus 2 times the width divided by 2. All right, that's how you do that one. Next equation, we're looking for R, it's the radius of the base of the cone. So since on the right side, we want to move to the left side, meaning we're simply switching the equation around. So we get one third pi r squared h equals volume. Now, since in this case there's a fraction, we want to multiply both sides by the number in the denominator. That's three. So multiply the left side by three and multiply the right side by three. That will cancel out this three, end up with pi r squared h on the left side and 3v on the right side. Now, the next step is we want to get rid of the pi and the h on the left side, meaning we're going to divide the left side by pi and h. There's no addition on the left side, simply multiplication, so divide both sides by pi h, divide this by pi h. So the pi's cancel out, the h's cancel out, we're left with r squared equals 3v over pi times h. Now the last step, we're not looking for r squared, we're looking for r, so take the square root of both sides, square root of the left side equals the square root of the right side, so r equals the square root of 3 times the volume over pi times h. And there's the answer of that example. Lastly, we have the volume of a rectangular cube. The volume is the length times the width times the height. We want to solve for the width, so again, since on the right side of the equation, we're going to move the equation around, we move the right side to the left, the left side to the right, so we have L times W times H equals volume. And the next step, since we're looking for W, we're going to divide the left side by the coefficient of W, L and H. Of course, when we do the left side, we have to do it to the right side, so this is also divided by L times H. The L's cancel out, the H's cancel out, we have W equals volume divided by the length times the height, and there's the solution of the third example. That's how you solve for variables inside formulas. We'll do a few more examples in our next session.